Max Licato, in his book, You'll Get Through This, uses the biblical story of Joseph to amplify some points. As I said yesterday, I hope that you'll read the story of Joseph in Genesis 37 through 50 to better understand the point. I like the way Max begins his second chapter with the words, Joseph's trouble started when his mouth did. He was his father's favorite son, but made the mistake of telling his brothers two dreams where they were to bow down to him. Needless to say, they did not like that. And when they got away from home, they were so mad that at first they put him in a cistern and then later sold him to Egyptian slavery. Joseph had gone from riches to rags. So how did he survive, much less thrive? He remembered his dreams and held on to them like a life jacket. He lost everything but his belief in God and God's belief in him. He knew it wasn't going to end this way because God's greater plans were for him. Do you know that God loves you and has a great plan for your life? It might be hard right now in the midst of this coronavirus, but if you're careful and committed, you'll realize that God chose you. Over in John, the 15th chapter in the 16th verse said, you do not choose me, but I chose you. You see, you are God's first choice. Max had an example of a groom who told him that he wasn't his first choice to perform a wedding. Well, look at Max now. Well, you'll never hear those words from God. You are a child of God. Don't get sucked into short-term thinking. Your problems won't last forever, but you will. Max wrote that God will give you again is Eden. We will be the Adams and the Eves. Over in 2 Timothy, we read, we will endure and we will also reign with him. So don't define yourself according to your problems and perplexities, but redefine yourself according to his great promises. Joseph repeatedly had challenges, but he came through them just fine, and you will too. Whatever's going on in your life today, ask yourself the question, what do I have that I cannot lose? The bottom line is, as a Christian, you can never lose your status as a child of God. Like Joseph, you still have your destiny, and it is with God. And that, my friends, is a happy ending. Let us pray. Lord, you know what's going on in our life right now. You're aware of each one of us individually. May we be aware that we are children of yours and that our destiny is with you. This we pray as Jesus Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, if you don't remember anything else, please remember this. You are a child of God. And God bless you. Amen.